welcome to the house that Rodney built. Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Purdue Boilermakers, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Purdue Boilermakers offense is on the field for the first time today. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping. We'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred. Because it's a rivalry game, we'll keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. Bells and whistles have got to be going off in this quarterback's head now. It's third and long, so you know you're expecting pressure. You've got to know your hot routes up. You've got to be able to read the coverage and make sure you get this football out of your hands quickly to not take a sack or worse, turn the football over. A fair catch called for and made. So Notre Dame's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Quickly complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Back to throw. It's Leonard. Working that left side now. And the catch was one thing and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Notre Dame lines up quickly. Big time play there in the passing game. That's important for Notre Dame, too, as a program. Because we know they've always been able to run the football. And we've seen them in recent years get to the playoff. They've reached national championship games. But they haven't been able to pull it off. For this program to take the next step, they have to be more consistent and dynamic in the explosive passing game. And I think this guy gives them the opportunity to take the program to the next level. He's out of bounds after a big pickup, but there's a flag on the field. This might be coming back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll go right back to it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wants to fire on second down. The short hands, it's Price. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throwing catch. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. They'll play it safe and try for three. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And that'll put the first point of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. 
Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. Did not go through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Off play action on first down. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Looking for a man. It's Carr. Looking left. Makes a connection. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going and handing the ball. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know him well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. The gift to the back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Evans. He's close to the first down, and they're going to mark him just a little short. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Off the play fake. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. The Irish Number send out the punt unit. On to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Pass the first down marker and still run it. And he's brought down after a nice game. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. The give on the inside. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking downfield, it's Carr. He's got his man. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. He'll throw on third down. Fires to the big fella. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team... Fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Put themselves in a bit of a bind, but that last one is second and 14. He's looking to throw. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal 
late hit on the quarterback gives this offense a free first down and some yardage. He's looking to pass. Touchdown, Purdue! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Offense getting set for first down. Fast motion from the offense. Trying to turn the corner on the jet sweep. At the 35, he's got more. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Catch in the middle, it's Evans. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game at all. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm in what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The RPO, it's complete. And that'll be enough to give Notre Dame a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll go to the ground. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Personal foul. Base, base, man. Defense. Well, that was an easy one for the officials. You can't grab a face mask like that, and it costs the defense a first down. That's the end of the period, and Purdue has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. Looking for room. It's Lobb. They knock him down after a pickup of four ball is at the nine-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Up and, up and. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Offense gets set for second down. On the run, it's Leonard. Fires and picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's inside the 40. At the 20. Touchdown, Boilermakers! How about that D coming up with a play like that? The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. 
Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Lining up to add another. And the extra point makes it 14-3. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Tulane delivered the type of thrashing generally reserved for homecoming games in New Orleans. Thing is, this was a road victory. And a win like this is going to resonate throughout the American. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home, licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. On second down, wants to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Collins. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. He picked up a big chunk of yardage there, and there will be Irish jigs going in the stands. Yeah, and a lot of excitement. If, if they can find these down-the-field explosive plays and find a wide receiver out there they can depend on, this offense can really explode and take off to a new level. Off-play action. Shoots it to the left. He makes the catch. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw catch and run on that one. Notre Dame has it now first and goal. And, man, this quarterback is on fire this drive. They've run five plays offensively. He's thrown it all five times. He's five for five. And now he has him down here on the goal line. Why not go six for six oh, with oh, a tutty? Oh, oh, oh. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Notre Dame! Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting the touchdown. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Lost to throw on first down. Makes his connection. Oh, there might have been trouble if they had knocked him down so quickly. Line getting set on second down. Jumped the gun just a bit, and we've got a false start. False start. 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 The official is offered the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Boilermakers will pump this one away. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions or force more points. Line gets set. First down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Snags it quickly on the left. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. 
Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Just a short pass to the tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Illegal block on the offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's open on the right. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Big play for the Irish there, reminiscent of a Tim Brown or Rocket Ismail. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you used a reference in the last 30 years, Reese. Um, you know, just trying to find playmakers at Notre Dame, and Michael Mayer, obviously, in the recent years, was a guy that you could really, really depend on. Trying to find those golden takes, those elite players out wide, is something they've been missing over the last several years. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got it on the outside. It's Collins. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid oh, pickup. Oh, 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 oh. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Now the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. And it's incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield. Let's see who the call's on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On second down, just keeps firing. Hit as he throws. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag hold, on hold, the field, hold, 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 and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. To the air, it's Leonard. They'll run the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They're setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open ball. Hand off from the shotgun. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going. But they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Boilermakers will try to pin them back with the punt. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball and force the incompletion. Here come the Irish back on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, Dave. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the court. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. 
Not a lot on the return, but they can win with that as they've got it at the 49. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you've got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Looking to throw its car. Using the quick game. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense. And you've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. It's a fumble on the play. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And that's a huge play by the defense. Great job and great effort getting to the ball carrier and swatting at the football, knocking it out, and then falling up for a massive fumble recovery. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Finds his man. It's Collins. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. He's going to pass. Oh, and he just dropped it. So close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Looking to throw it again. Quickly complete. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Caught over the middle. It's Evans. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. To the air on first down. He unleashes a long one. And incomplete on the deep ball. After the misfire, it's second down. On the move, it's Leonard. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to the big tight end. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. The Irish send out the punt unit. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of this spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. Trying to find his man on first down. It's complete on the right side. Can't come in half-stepping to tackle this guy. Too much strength and power. He's up to the 25. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Just a little off. Incomplete. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. 
fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. And the Boilermakers decide to punt it away. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense. The ball falls in. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Thomas. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage, and they've got it on the 22. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking to go up top. Up, fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there and knock it away and deny the score. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Wants to throw. It's Leonard. Makes the grab. They will score. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up, and keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked in what this defense is trying to do. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Defense backing up, trying to keep everything in front. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So find something really quick that you can go to. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Open. Open. They'll decline that penalty, obviously very happy with the results of the play. The Boilermakers will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Looking to move it through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Going up top on first down. He's got an open man. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense. First and goal from the seventh. So it's first down, but with just a few seconds, they'll try to put up a three before halftime. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Right on target the first time. Now he'll try another from 24 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. They get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. On the move from inside is five. He'll be brought down and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat out hatred that comes with a good old fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. 
These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Boilermakers will line up to kick off and start the second half. Not going to get a return here. They'll bring it out to the 25 as the kickoff sails through the back of the end zone. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Trying to get outside on the jet sweep. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Used to play fake, now to throw. Whoa, does he turn that loose down the middle? Oh, look out, there he goes! Touchdown, Iron! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. That's already his second touchdown of the game. Getting aggressive here and going for two. They'll try to run it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you, over the middle of the field. You can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating this guy and making an accurate play. Back to throw. It's Carr. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And you've always got to be careful around the sideline to not step out accidentally. So that wide receiver did a really nice job on that route to bring the ball in while on it. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles into the ground. Give to the running back. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Gets it out fast. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to hit the field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC's like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so you Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, Purdue! What a throw by the QB. You think about it, you don't have much space near the sideline, and he put that thing right on the outside of the sideline where his receiver could go make a play. Not only does he make the play, I'm pretty sure he got a foot in bounds, and that's a great touchdown catch. What a playmaker. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Tennessee is in trouble right now, and that Neyland Stadium crowd is letting them hear it. They're trailing by 14 to Kent State. 
We'll circle back if anything big happens. You should know. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun. Give on the inside. They stop him cold. Maybe gets a yard to the 34. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Got it in the middle. It's Evans. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this. Way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get in the shot. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. And the pass is incomplete. Charmed loose by the hit. Now facing a third and long. To throw, it's Leonard. Throws to the wideout. He's got him. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. This quarterback is having a Heisman moment in this game. These are the types of games that Heisman voters are going to pay attention to. He's now got over 450 passes. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. On first and goal, Notre Dame will try to get it in the end zone. Wide out in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. This defensive front just ran free in the backfield. He'll lose three. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense, understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. It's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. And the offense grateful for that penalty if they can just move it one more yard to get it in. Barrels ahead. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. He's stumped after picking up one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's Carr. He finds his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Boilermakers will send out the punt unit. 
And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short term. Who knows what they're going to do? They'll start this drive 60 yards in front of them from their own 40. RPO complete to open the drive. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Stopped after making the catch. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. You've got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. It's caught downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. They'll run play action. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. And the Boilermakers are marching down the field. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Boilermakers! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you pad my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short and he did the rest of the work. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here come the Irish back on offense. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own. So you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Oh, 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 oh. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. They'll line up for a second down play. Grab behind the line. It's Mitchell. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. They've got the screen set up. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. The Irish send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. They make the stop and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Boilermakers have it back and here comes the offense. 
Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Power football with the run. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Trying to pick up a first down. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. The quick out. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shut him out of bounds. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. The Boilermakers will have it first and ten. He wants to throw it again. Got his man quickly. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Dropping back, it's Carr. Snags it! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. Well, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll run for it on third and short. Touchdown, Purdue! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Out of the gun, looking to throw. And the sticky fingers allow them to grab the two-point conversion. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, and the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Quick strike complete. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. There he goes to the right. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Cincinnati is on top. They've played awfully well today, and though that's not Desmond Ritter out there, this group is fighting. 
They're up by four over the Red Hawks of Miami. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Quinn with the running game on first down. Now back at it. It's a draw. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Here come the Irish back on offense. The running back has it. Makes his man miss. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Back to pass. It's Leonard. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. And now this offense will take the field again. Fires to the big fella. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. On second down, he'll let it fly. Quickly to the tight end. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. They'll run it from the gun. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, he'll fire. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. The Boilermakers have moved it inside the 20. He's looking for a man on second down. Setting up the screen. And he's ridden to the ground, but there's also a flag down. Let's check the call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Looking downfield, it's Carr. He's got his man. How about picking up top yards like that as he gets to the 22? Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Caught in the backfield, it's Smith. Got enough space. Touchdown, Boilermakers! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You can tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. 
The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Gonna run it. It's Bob. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Caught behind the line. It's Evans. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance. Oh, the ball popped out. That's a way to mess up a drive. That is a serendipitous turn of events with the fumble going out of bounds. They'll maintain possession. Motion from the offense. Reads it. Fires complete. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit them with a big run. Now they hit them with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage throw on a point one? Put more people in the box to stop the run. When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Touchdown, Irish! They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Using the quick game. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Get it out on the screen. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul, foul. Face man. Defense. Defense. You might get away with grabbing just about anything except the face mask. Got to keep those hands below the face mask. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. The play action fake. Throws to the tight end. Working on the right. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. Calling a timeout here. You have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. Back to throw. It's Carr. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. After the misconnection, it's second down. They keep attacking through the air. Finds his tight end. Knocked down at the 25-yard line, picked up 10 there, and gets a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. And the pass hits, picked off! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, we've seen this defense make plays time and time again in this game. They may have just sealed it with that take.
Here come the Irish back on offense. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big-time moments, Paul, are coming down to the wire. Who steps up and makes the big-time play? And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints for moments like this. Game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. On third down, going up top. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We